Phoebe Anna Tricare, the 24th of May 1852 to the 4th of August 1936, was an Irish-born artist who achieved international recognition for her role in the arts and crafts movement in Scotland as an illustrator, painter, and embroiderer. Her works included large-scale murals, embroidery, enamel jewellery, and book illuminations. In 1920, she became the first woman elected to the Royal Scottish Academy. Topic: Family life. Phoebe Tricare was born Phoebe Anna Moss on the 24th of May 1852 in Kilternan, County Dublin. Her parents were physician Dr. William Moss and Teresa Moss, née Richardson. Phoebe was the sixth of their seven children. Tricare studied art at the School of Design of the Royal Dublin Society between 1869 and 1872. She married the Scottish paleontologist Ramsay Heatley Tricare on 5 June 1873. The couple moved to Collinton Farm in the southwest of Edinburgh in spring 1874. Some of her work was paleontological drawings related to her husband's research on fossil fish, and these drawings are held in the special library collections of National Museums Scotland. Their children were Ramsay, Harry and Hilda. Phoebe's elder brother was William Richardson Moss, a keen art collector who owned a number of works by Dante Gabriel Rossetti. Tricare shared with her brother this love of art, including a particular fascination with the work of Rossetti and that of William Blake, and her style and choice of subject matter remained deeply influenced by Blake and Rossetti's art and poetry throughout her life. Topic: <laughs> Career During the late 1870s Tricare continued to develop her art, working mostly on embroidered domestic textiles. By the mid-1880s the Tricare's social circle included the sociobiologist Patrick Geddes, a founder of the Edinburgh Social Union, who commissioned Tricare to decorate the mortuary chapel of the Royal Hospital for Sick Children, Edinburgh. This was the first of four Edinburgh interiors Tricare painted between 1885 and 1901. Topic. Royal Hospital for Sick Children During 1885 and 1886 Tricare created a series of murals for the Mortuary Chapel of the Royal Hospital for Sick Children, Edinburgh. The mural is of three maidens divine powers which is bordered by images within lunettes of writers, artists and critics, such as Edward Byrne-Jones, William Belscott, Noel Patton and John Ruskin, who was a considerable influence on Tricare. This was her first work as a professional artist. The mortuary was a small windowless room, formerly a coalhouse, where bodies could be left reverently and lovingly prior to burial. The work was completed in 1886 and before the building was further developed in 1894, the murals were transferred to a new site and Tricare restored and added them, albeit in a simpler composition, between 1896 and 1898. St. Mary's Cathedral Her murals of the Song School of St. Mary's Cathedral 1888 won Tricare national recognition. Within a tunnel vaulted interior, the east wall depicts the cathedral clergy and choir. The south wall depicts Tricare's admired contemporaries such as Dante Gabriel Rossetti, William Holman Hunt, and George Frederick Watts. On the north wall birds and choristers sing together, and the west wall shows the four beasts singing the Sanctus. The song school is still used daily for practice by the choristers. <laughs> Mansfield Place Church Tricare's best-known work is in the vast former Catholic Apostolic Church 1893 on Mansfield Place now called the Mansfield Tricare Centre at the foot of Broughton Street, which has been called Edinburgh's Sistine Chapel and a jewelled crown. It was this work which helped to confirm her international recognition. <laughs> Other works A notable work by Tricare can be viewed in the Thistle Chapel of St. Giles Cathedral where she designed the earliest enamel armorial panels over the knight's seats. 
Another of her major works is a key arts and crafts illuminated manuscript of sonnets from the Portuguese by the Victorian poet Elizabeth Barrett Browning, which is held by the National Library of Scotland (NLS), and a version is available on the NLS Digital Library. Tricare was a prolific artist who, as well as her murals and embroidery, produced hundreds of pieces of jewelry. She was invited to exhibit at the World's Fair in Chicago in 1893 and her four silk embroidered panels The Progress of the Soul were displayed in St. Louis in 1904. That year she returned to mural painting with a work for the chancel of the St. Peter's Church at Clayworth in Nottinghamshire. Her final mural was completed for the Manners Family Chapel at Thorny Hill in the New Forest between 1920 and 1922. A large number of other works by Tricare, including, Enamels, illuminated manuscripts of Rossetti's sonnet sequence Willowwood, a piano with a case made by Tricare's friend and artistic collaborator Robert Lorimer and painted with scenes from Willowwood, the biblical Song of Songs, and the story of Psyche and Pan, a triptych of embroideries based on the story of the Red Cross Knight from Edmund Spencer's Fairy Queen, are on display at National Museum Scotland in Edinburgh. At Kelly Castle in Fife in 1897, Tricare completed the painted panel above the fireplace in the castle's drawing room. The painting is based on Botticelli's Primavera and was completed when John Henry Lorimer occupied the castle. However the painting was covered over in the late 1940s but was restored in 1996 by the National Trust for Scotland. Death. Phoebe Tricare is buried with her husband, and the ashes of her son Harry Moss Tricare, in Collington Parish Church Graveyard in Edinburgh. She designed the gravestone, and it was carved by Pilkington Jackson. Topic works Illustrations John Sutherland Black 1890. Dante Illustrations and Notes. Phoebe A. Tricare, Illustrator. Edinburgh, T. and A. Constable, Private Printer. OCLC 805029900. Dante Gabriel Rossetti 1904. The House of Life. Phoebe A. Tricare, Illustrator. Edinburgh, William J. Hay, 